Mr. Ramdeen, um, during the meeting just now, you were um, talking about uh, uh, the diversification of the economy, and uh, you mentioned that it was uh, an abused concept. Why did you say that? Okay, diversification is something that we talk about far too often without implementation. So. When it serves our purpose, we talk about the need to diversify. But have we been doing the things, prerequisites, to allow for diversification to take place? And from the country that I come from, Trinidad and Tobago, where we kind of have a dual economy, oil and gas and other sectors, once oil and gas, the oil and gas sector is doing well, only lip service is given to diversification. And throughout the region, we all continue to be monocrop, mono-state type economies where one sector is leading the drive, leading the, de leading the, the development pathway. But for, uh, in order for us to really be competitive in a globalizing environment, we need more than one sector to be export ready, to be earning foreign exchange, to be employing people. We need to diversify the avenues to earn foreign exchange in our respective countries and it's not happening and but we all talk about it so that's why i think it's just talk yeah it was interesting that you mentioned that um, and i quote it is no longer a choice but a prerequisite uh, to survive. In, yeah. yeah it's a prerequisite it's no longer a, a choice diversification is no longer a choice it's a prerequisite for survival because as i said before i, I made that quote we all have to earn foreign exchange because we all are import dependent. Everything that you wear in there, I'm certain 98% of everything that you have on is import, imported. And the only way you could get foreign exchange is to export what you have. You can't print US currency or hard currency. And in order to export, you need to have avenues to export. And you can't put all your eggs in one basket you need to have more than one avenues to export. Because the world that we're living in, it means that any economic shock, if, it's, if your country is dependent on one export source, could decimate that sector. But if you diversify your portfolio for exports, and there's some external circumstances that affect your main export sector, you have others to rely on. But okay. Well, um, in countries like, uh, for example, Trinidad and Suriname, we have relatively a little more, um, s more. Uh, we have a little more sectors to rely on. I mean, in other countries in the Caribbean, they they lie, rely almost solely on um, tourism, tourism yeah. and um, they can't really, um, you know, plant uh, crops and do. Um, to uh, animal husbandry or, or, or things like that. How do you think that they will um, actually strengthen them, their economy and in uh, using diversification? So we need to move away from the singularity view of this whole thing and look from looking at country specific. We need to look at a region to see how we could benefit from integration among the uh, and creating synergies among what we do. So for example, um, the, the, the countries that develop, de depend wholly on tourism, they need to find innovative ways, think outside the box and, and, and finding new forms of tourism probably. It's just not sand, sea and sand anymore. It could be um, tour health tourism, business tourism, eco-tourism, um, sport tourism. We need to diversify the, the product tourism itself in the first instance. But beyond that, there are another, other services areas that they could go into, offshore banking, um, education, a number of different areas. If they can really place emphasis on manufacturing, as, as you, you alluded to, well, we need to have integration. You know, we need to know, we need to figure out how Suriname and Guyana and Belize could grow their agricultural product and Trinidad could source those agricultural product and engage in agro-processing. And that same food of agro-processing is what we will use to feed the tourists when they come to the tourist sector. And then 
then if everything is integrated and working properly, we don't need to depend on tourism from the outside because the Trinidadians now could go to these countries and regionalize, localize tourism take place. And, and that is the integration that, that we, we need to have working optimally in order for us collectively as a region, rising tide, raise all ships. Okay. And um, I am going to quote something that <laughs> of yours that it actually made me laugh. You said to make agriculture sexy. sexy. <laughs> yes. Attractive. <laughs> Attractive. Okay. okay. You... We, we need to make, we, in my country, most of the young people don't want to go into agriculture because they're traditionally thinking it's about hot sun and labor intensive and that kind of thing. But in this day and age that we live in, in other parts of the world, agriculture is attractive. It's rewarding. It's satisfying. You can earn a decent enough living from agriculture, but not the way it's, it's done in this part of the world. We continue to view agriculture as one where you can't do anything else, go into agriculture. We need to move away from that myopic thinking. Agriculture, you don't need vast amount of land. You can do virtual agriculture. Vertical, you yeah, mean? Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. uh, and there are so many things you could do with agriculture. Now, so make it appealing and sexy so people will want to come back into agriculture, want to come back and invest their time and their resources. Because when they do, when they do that, they know they will get a return, a return that could al allow for them to have a good standard of living, purchase a good car, a good home, mind your families but if we don't instill that mindset and that's why i mean by make it appealing make it sexy make it attractive remove the obstacle the the, the banditry and the teething and and, and and last pretty or larceny fix the agricultural roads when you do that and you create the enabling environment you and i might want to go into agriculture because it's sexy to us now okay thank you very much mr ramdin not a problem My okay pleasure.